we are elbowed to address this press conference in order to speak to the generality of Nigerians over the trending mindsets and inclinations of Nigerians in the diaspora who have decided to dodge the pains, discomforts, and scares of nation building, but indulges in subversive actions against the country. While this clan of Nigerians have decided to hold themselves in foreign lands, they deliberately instigate problems of frightening dimensions on insecurities, but escape to safer abodes of other nations with their family when the conflagration they ignite goes wild aflame. The troubleshooters abandon the rest of us to our fate. After making us susceptible to the problems they generate by their actions and utterances, we are baffled at the manner these Nigerians in diaspora dubiously misinterpret and apply the doctrines of freedom of speech and the rise to public protest by the citizens in the expression of grievances against government in a manner which project them as built to the decimate of peace and violence. This tendency has become too pronounced under the administration of President Mohammed Buhari in the last four years. These diaspora Nigerians proud and sponsor our youths to protest under the pretext of democratic liberty but hardly know the difference between peaceful and violent protests as exposed by democratic governments globally. Even when such protests become violent and bloody, our mad or mad by, mad by destructions, the Nigerians in diaspora use various weapons, especially the social media platforms, to bolster the perpetrators of such evil against the people and the nation to continue in self-destruction. Whilst we are excited at recounting the goals of some of these recent ugly so-called democratic public protests in Nigeria, which did only become bloody, but violated the basic doctrines of liberty under a civilian government, but it has become pertinent to use the incident of, for illustration and clarity. We are aware of the age-long aberrations and the nuances inherent in members of the outlawed sect, the Islamic movement in Nigeria, IMN, or the Shives in Nigeria led by Sheikh Ibrahim al Zakizaki. The sect's devious members have repeatedly invaded Abuja with guns and other dangerous weapons under the guise of protesting what they believe in their narrowed senses are the unlawful incarceration of al Zakizaki. But most pointedly, no democratic leader allows national security to be compromised by hoodlums and miscreants in the guise of exercising democratic rights, either in public protest or any other endeavor. National interest supersedes every other consideration. Therefore, democratic protests which assume the character of bloodbath are ruthlessly crushed with the force it deserves. Nigerians have seen it done elsewhere in recent times. We know America as the global bast bastion of democracy, but outgoing President Donald J. Trump could not tolerate law uh, lawless protesters. He ordered American military out to pro protect America's national heritage from abuse by vandals, looters, arsonists, and brigands. It happened during the Black Lives Matter demonstration over the police murder of George Floyd. No one raised an eyebrow. And it was yesterday we witnessed the episode of the violent invasion of Capitol Hill building by pro-Trump pro -Trump protesters. In a split second, security agents murdered five Americans. The venom expressed by two protesters at Capitol Hill was just an insignificant fraction of what Nigerians should do during the NSAS protests in the country. Among victims of the police reaction to the enraged and violent protester was a woman who was shot point blank in, on the chest and she died instantly. Unbelievably, CNN observed with consternation the conspiratory silence of the Nigerians in diaspora over the brutal police encounter with protesters at Capitol Hill. None of them neither condemned or queried the excessive application of force by the American police. We expected to hear a public condemnatory statement from the Nigerian, Nigerians who administer the Abuja country office of, of Amnesty International but know what has been heard from them to this moment. But these are the people who pick bones in everything Buhari dogs.